Alright, uh, I think it's time to show off somebody new in the party, so, Judith. Actually, I kind of want to have Raven with all the women just because he talks pretty dirty, so. Ah, uh, no, we'll, we'll just go. Let's go like this. I, I like this party makeup pretty good. I'm just going to set up his equipment. Oh, never mind, he's, uh, he's, got, he's learning Bristar for us. We're good. Let's head to town. Oh my god, you can see the Imperial Knight ships. That's pretty cool. But oh man, they're they're raiding this place good. Hello, Mr. Flynn Brigade. An accident has occurred within the Coliseum and we've been dispatched to deal with the situation. Our duty as Imperial Knights is to protect each and every settlement within this Empire's territory. Okay, well... The danger is kind of right here, running from the knights. Guess not. Guess not. No. Nah. Hmm. Not as many knights as I'd have guessed. Yeah, security looks normal even with all the commotion after the tournament. It did sound like they had their hands full with the monsters that managed to escape. Yeah, but it's too quiet, especially compared to the checkpoints back at Kados. I think Raven's got it right. The Knights are up to something, and I don't like it. But it looks like we can stay in town as long as we don't stand out. So we'll meet with Bellius on the evening of the new moon, which happens to be tonight. Let's stop by the inn to freshen up and then go see about me and her. I'm finally going to be able to get rid of the Don's letter. Hmm. I wonder if Flynn's already here somewhere. Do you think? When we finish up all our business here, I've got a few things I want to ask that guy. When you do, take me with you. Because you know, Yuri, whenever he's alone with someone, they tend to not turn up the other day or somehow die. So, he's kind of the man you don't want to talk to when you're alone with him. Clearly. It's like, oh man, I've been late on my rent. Uh, I gotta talk to you later. Um... Can, I, can you see me? Can you see me tonight? Uh, no, landlord. Um, I'm I'm busy tonight. I was like, all right, well, we'll we'll arrange something then. It's like I'm sure we will. I'm sure we will. Okay, so to the end we go. Hello, in person. Five hundred gold. Jesus. Back in your again, it's fifty. Oh my God. Thank you. Enjoy your stay. Well, I damn well better for five hundred gold. Jesus Christ. Is everyone ready to go? <coughs> sure. You're shaking, Carol. Confronting the big cheese of a major guild about his involvement with the Great War is uh, pretty intimidating. Come on, he's a normal person, just like us. There's nothing to be afraid of. But, but, you're sure the brave one, Missy. I'm impressed. I'm just doing my best to be strong. You don't have to come if you don't want to, Estelle. I can't back down anymore. I don't want to. I want to know about myself, about who I really am. Sounds like you're ready to go. So then, uh, let's go see Bellius. Now somebody switch Carol off Vibrate so we can get him going. Just my imagination. <gasps> what are they doing here? Well, now that Carol's turned off of Vibrate, uh, maybe we can go see Bellius. No music. How foreboding. So, uh, what's up? We've come to meet with Bellius. You're... Oh, weren't you the emissary sent by Dun Whitehorse? Yep, it's a bit urgent, so if you wouldn't mind letting me through... You may enter. However, I must ask the rest of you to withdraw. What? But why? Are you trying to say we can't be trusted or something? 
I'm afraid that is what it amounts to. But... Let them pass. Duce, but I... I have spoken. Now that's more like it. Yes, Duce. I ask only that you not speak of anything you see here to anyone. Not speak of what we see? Why not? This is one of Polistrale's guild laws. Okay, then. We promise. Our leader, Bellius, is waiting just ahead. Well, then, let's go see her. I, lo I love how we had to walk up the flight of stairs. It was like, no, nope, no, nope, the computer's lazy. Get to work. Oh, yeah. Burning off them calories. Now going to the gym for me tonight. Oh, yeah. And then it's uh, just in here. Everybody still here? Yes. Uh, a monster! And here I had secret hopes we'd get a gourmet meal out of this. I wasn't expecting a trap. This isn't a trap. She is... Bellius? The very same. I am Bellius, Duce of Nordopolica, and founder of Palestrale. Didn't see this coming. So you can speak our language as well. You encountered Pharaoh some time ago, did you not? I would not think then that our ability to use your tongue should come as a surprise. So you're an Antilochia too? That is so. Th then the ancient race that built this city was... My brethren and I. Good old Don. How nice of him to keep me in the dark on this. And who might you be? A humble servant of Don Whitehorse. I've got a letter for you from him. I've known that old badger too long to be surprised by who he knows. But just how are you connected? I am indebted to him for his assistance during the Great War. The Great War? So the rumors that you were one of the masterminds behind it are true? <laughs> Well, I did participate in the war. However, I never exceeded that which my duty as an Intellikea required. I was not a mastermind of anything. The Great War was fought against the Intellikea. At any rate, my acquaintance with the Dawn dates from those times. I have long lamented that a man of his talent was not born instead as one of my race. That's the first I've heard the old man had anything to do with the Great War. It is a subject he takes little pleasure in discussing. The Don has requested my mediation in the current trouble with Pharaoh. It would seem that even a man of his strength cannot stand against my brother's assault upon his city. Such a request cannot lightly be brushed aside. I shall offer my assistance for the time being. <sighs> Glad to see you're so reasonable. So some of you tear down cities and some of you run guilds. You and Lakay are definitely interesting. The same might be said of you humans, I would imagine. Now then, this letter is not the sole reason for your visit, is it, child of the full moon? You know about Estelle? We in Telekea can sense the child of the full moon. My name is Estelise. I have to know, what exactly is the child of the full moon? Pharaoh called me an insipid poison, but what does that mean? Hmm. I know not whether your fate may be swayed by such knowledge, but... Bellius, listen. Judith? Hmm. Is there something of which I should be aware? Pharaoh is... What the hell's all that racket? At last, we found you, Antilochea! Leader of monsters! Origin of evil! Tyson! Boss! Well, if it isn't Carol and friends, you've got some twisted tastes hanging out with freaks like this! Keeping monsters to use in your Colosseum? You're an enemy of humanity, and now you die. Where's Nan? 
Curious, huh? She should be leading the raid on the remaining monsters in the Colosseum about now. We hunting blades give no quarter to any who would obstruct the justice we made out, humans or no. If you won't attack, then I'll make the first move, beast. It seems these men will not be stayed, lest I take arms against them. It is asking much of you, but please help Nats. What about you? I am not to be outdone by mere humans. Gotcha. Let's get out of here. Good luck. Time to hoof it out of here. I thought the knights were the ones who had business in Nordopolica. I never would have guessed we'd end up running into the hunting blades. What are they all doing here? Don't know exactly, but you can be sure it's got to do with Bellius. Could it be that the knights, I mean Flynn, came because of Bellius as well? We'll have to ask the Duce. For now though, we gotta see if we can get things under control. Things are definitely out of control, so that would be definitely something to do, and new enemies! Don't get sloppy! Sure, sloppy, that's what I want to say. Grain, <laughs> Alright. And then we got Barley. <laughs> I love their names. Whoa, he, he sent me flying. And now who's the other one? He is... Rye! I love how they just named their... Uh, named them that. It's just so random yet so hilarious. Yeah, right now I can't link anything to Alter Dar, so I might not use it as much. Oh god. Oh, he learned Havoc Gale, yes. That move is amazing. That move just wrecks face. It's like Tidal Wave. Oh my god. When I get Havoc Gale and Tidal Wave, oh my god, the game slows down so much. Oh, you're gonna see some fun times later on. Alright, well, let's keep going on. Let's get some new funny names going on. Or are they gonna be the same people? Man, could you be any weaker? Let's just. Oh, they're the same. Oh well. Get it over with. Show in this battle for fun. Arrivederci. Yeah, there's Arrivederci. Yeah, see, uh, you might have noticed that slow down for a bit. Let's have a Kale in it, we're going on at the same time they did. They don't go bode well together, not at all. Arrivederci. He's dead. That's right, you march. Estelle, who said you could do melee abilities? You want to get benched? Are you done already? All right, well they're dead. Yeah, yeah, not a hard battle. Just wanted to show off um some of Raven's abilities because he's gonna be taking a lead role for a while. And no, no, you don't. And Cyan, oh god. We'll destroy them in no time. <laughs> Shine 
that's over. I'm not done. Yeah, with three casters, oh, oh, there's colors everywhere. It's it's pretty madness. Stuff's in the fan. Yeah, there's an Odapolka warehouse. Uh, that'll come into play later. Don't worry about it for now. <clears throat> Man, could you be any weaker? Don't get cocky. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. I just escaped that battle for fun. There's really no point fighting these guys. I got everything I wanted out of them. This is awful. Could Nan have done this? You alright? Nat has gone to defend the Coliseum from the hunting blades. Please, you gotta help him. Wait, I'll. If only we'd come sooner. This is not the time for regrets. We've got to go help that Nats guy. Yeah, which means going up. Alright, so, um, we want to head in here to the Coliseum V Shadow 